Welcome back to our coverage of the 2030 Salt Lake City Winter Games. It was a busy first day for the men's Long Hill individual ski jump here in Park City. Now the games in Utah were almost canceled because snow has become a rare sight in Utah ever since the disappearance of the biggest lake in the American West. Now let's take a look at the lake that used to be. 30 years ago, the Great Salt Lake was the largest remaining wetland ecosystem in the American West. But after years of water diversions and worsening climate change, which depleted rivers in northern Utah, the Great Salt Lake shrank dramatically. The last big snow year came in the 2022 to 2023 winter, when Utahns thought their water troubles at the Great Salt Lake were over. But in that same year, the Utah State House passed several water bills, which contained poison pills that led to the lake's demise. Legislation was passed that increased the amount of water diverted upstream of the Great Salt Lake. The state legislature also created a new water authority that expedited the conversion of farm water to new water diversions. Since this new Great Salt Lake agency was exempt from laws allowing the public to access government records, these state leaders were able to transfer waters of the Great Salt Lake to new water diversions in the shadowy back rooms of Utah government. To advance Bear River development, a massive diversion of the lake's largest water source, the Bear River. The Bear River used to provide 60% of the surface water to the Great Salt Lake. But since Bear River development was approved, the river's crucial inflows to the lake plummeted further draining the Great Salt Lake. Conservation leaders and the public asked the state to set a target elevation goal for the Great Salt Lake, which would have required the state to devise a plan to deliver 6 million acre-feet of water to raise the level of the Great Salt Lake to a healthy level. But Utah leaders refused to set a goal or devise a plan to raise lake water levels to 4,198 feet. Instead, celebrating when even small amounts of water were delivered to the lake, in the hopes of fooling the public into believing the lake would be saved. Over time, millions of birds died, leading to extinction of several bird species that used to stop at the Great Salt Lake. Lake bed that used to be covered by water turned to dust and created disastrous dust storms with toxic compounds that harmed human health. This led to billions of dollars in taxpayer spending for air quality mitigation measures, which in turn forced dramatic increases to water rates. The final nail in the coffin for the shrinking Great Salt Lake was a bill that granted a state agency virtually unlimited ability to build dikes and berms as the lake shrunk, which pushed the Great Salt Lake into the mini Salt Lake. Facing economic collapse, businesses and institutions left Utah, and enrollment at local universities plummeted. As a result, the University of Utah football team slipped in rankings and was kicked out of Pac-12. Desperate for customers, Alta and Deer Valley started allowing snowboarders to purchase lift tickets. Utah was sued for their continued use of the slogan, the greatest snow on earth, and was forced to give the rights to use the phrase to Colorado. Eventually, the entire population of Ogden fled to California to escape this catastrophe.